right now, I'm about to head from Asheville, North Carolina, to Charlotte, North Carolina. Headed to a bike stop, a bike shop, and I'm also going to be visiting a friend, and I'm excited about that. But this is what we have on the rack right now. We have the GT that needs to go in for some service, the mountain bike, and also the road bike to ride while the mountain bike is being serviced. So, funny story about where I'm headed right now. Right now I'm headed like 20 minutes out of my way so that I can get gas. And the reason why I'm going so far away to get gas is both, uh, well not both, is because I have a gas card to this place and I currently uh, can't like fill up my car, fill it up again on the way back, and then buy uh, cycling shit that I, kind, that I convinced myself I need. And uh, also hang out with my friends, so um, 20 minutes this direction, 20 minutes back. Alright, let's see how long it takes to get back to where we were. I've already messed up and need to make a U-turn, but gas station trip took 30 minutes in total. <laughs> I really should have better made a better way like of videoing this or like getting better videos of this but I am both in Charlotte and I both have got the bike fixed um, the great thing I love about performance bike shops is that they give you free tune-ups for life if you buy a bike from there and so I took advantage of that bought some new shoes for uh, the road and I, I'm excited uh, things are going great right now uh, I just wish I filmed that a little bit better off to get my teeth brushed because I left home without doing that and um, I'm gonna do that and find a ride found a place to brush my teeth and go to the bathroom all right just over 10 miles in uh, like 30 35 minutes in uh, to this ride and uh, I kind of don't know where else to go. I'm not from here. I don't live here. And um, I don't really know where like the safest roads are. I don't know if I can find any like mountainy, hilly roads. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly where I could be going other than these 10 miles that I've found. But um, yeah, I, I don't know. New rides and new places can be so much fun. I've had some of my funnest rides in riding in new places, but so the drawbacks of riding in new places, you don't know where to go. And uh, I'm having that problem now. So this is my road bike. And the most exciting thing like right now about the road bike is it's been so long since I've been on one that like I get to find out what I can do again. And uh, not necessarily today, not necessarily, to, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. Not necessarily today, not necessarily later today, but soon I get to find out what I can really do on this bike uh, versus like what like I was able to do when I was years younger and not at the point where it's like years younger is a good thing, like when the difference between like 16 and 20 is a big difference for the 20 year old. And so, I don't know, I'm just, uh, I'm really excited to see what can be done on there. But the great news is, I don't think I really covered it, is the mountain bike is fixed. 
the rear wheel was loose and they got that uh, fixed and taken care of. In here in the brackets and in the different bearings and pivots, whoops, pivots and whatnot, um, they needed to be uh, re-lubed. You got some moisture in there. That's kind of what happens when you go on a really wet ride. It kind of ruins uh, the stuff inside there and you need to kind of just replace some uh, of the lube and get it going again. But yeah, I'm excited. I, I just love riding bikes. All right, so I spent a lot of time uh, just kind of spinning in that parking lot of that hospital. Uh, I got kind of halfway dressed, uh, organized the car a little bit, wasted a little bit of time. And uh, now I'm waiting for like 45 minutes to die so that I can um, meet my friend at his place. But now I'm just killing time in Charlotte. Just ate dinner at this place. And this place is like a whole outdoor thing with like a whitewater rafting and a lot of people looking at me. And home.